In this video, I will show you my methods of cleaning sunroof drains. For this, I have this BMW F25 X3 that I will use as an example and I will clean the drains on this car. This particular model is equipped with panoramic sunroof. On this car, the sunroof is divided in two pieces. The rear part, the rear glass is fixed, is not moving, only the front one is moving, it's opening and closing. All BMWs that have sunroofs or panoramic sunroofs have a special tray that is designed in such a way that will catch the water that will enter between the glass and the body and safely will release the water outside of the vehicle. On older vehicles, the seal that is designed to keep a tight gap between the glass and the body will shrink and the amount of water that will enter, especially in a heavy rain, will overcome the drains, even if your drains will be perfectly clean and will start to flood your vehicle. So you need to keep in mind that these are vehicles, are not submarines, so they are designed in such a way that they will allow some water to enter inside of the system. With the sunroof opened, you can clearly see the tray. If you watch here, you'll see the dust mark. This is a channel, the channel that is designed to catch the water and release it to one of the drains. All the BMWs that are equipped with sunroofs have four drains, one for each corner of the vehicle. Normally, most of the cases, 90% of them, the front drains will be the drains that will create problems that will start to be clogged. The rear ones rarely will do that, but if you will have that problem, it will be very hard to be cleaned because they are deep inside of the headliner. Of course, on this model, on the F25 X3, they are very easy to be accessed, but I told you most of the problems are created by the front drains. And in that corner down there, you can see one drain for this corner, and the second one is down there. Sometimes I'm using some special cleaner that will dissolve the dust, dirt that's inside of the drains. Rarely, depending on the situation, I will use something more stronger. It's a sulfuric acid, but I don't recommend you to use that. It's very dangerous and you can destroy your car your phone, your hands, everything with that. Uh, other times I'm using a small brush like this one that will clean the entire length of the tube or a combination of all them. Today I will use these cleaners and of course I will need something to be able to pour water on the drains to test them and after that to rinse the solution. I will start with this drain. I suspect in that corner will start to leak water when I will pour water down the drain. Now I will pour some water. And you can hear that sound, that means this drain is very clean. When I'm working on sunroofs, I'll try to protect the interior of the car against accidental spillings. Now I will start to pour some cleaning solution down to that hole. Like so. And also I can use a little bit to, to clean the channels. And I need to be careful not to spray inside of the channel where the mechanism is located. Now I will leave a couple of minutes the solution to make his magic inside of the drain, but meantime I can clean the channels with a paintbrush and some water. And on this side the same, I'll repeat the process like on the other side. I will send a good quantity of cleaner. Baby, 
After 5 to 10 minutes of waiting period, I will use clean water to wash the solution from here because that thing is smelly. And for rear drain, I will pour water here. And as I told you, on this model, the rear drain is right here. See it? It's a very short piece of tube from the corner of the sunroof to this area. Only on this type of body style you'll find that thing. But I told you, here in the back, these drains won't create you any problems. On this side, the same, rise. And the same thing for the back. And if I'm still here, using my good old friend, WD-40, I will clean the truck side. I will sacrifice the rag for this job. I don't know if you can see, but someone at one point uh, grease this truck and this is a big no-no. You don't use grease to grease this truck because the grease will transform in mud with dust and your sunroof will fail. So the best thing to clean and grease your sunroof is WD-40 or something similar. Much better. I will be the process on the other side. And now with a clean rag and something that it's used to clean the interior, I will clean the plastics from this sunroof. And with this, this job is done. And as a fun fact, if I showed you where the rear drains for the back of the sunroof are exiting, I will show you the front ones on this car. So the front ones are here and during this cover, you can see it. That one is for this corner and for that corner it's on the other side. And this was one way in which I'm using to clean the drains for the sunroofs. Of course, depending on the model of the car, depending on how heavy is the clog on the drain, I can use different methods or in worst scenario, I need to remove the headliner. But I want to warn you, please don't use compressed air to clean these drains because if the drain is very, it's heavy clogged at the end especially, you can disconnect the hose from the um, frame of the sunroof and in that case you'll need to remove the headliner to connect the hose back and with this i hope you learned something new from this video if you do so show me by hitting the like button again thank you for being with me thank you for watching these videos and until next time you know the drill stay awesome bye now